Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 83 in the FreeCAD series. Today we're going to be looking at a macro called Bevel. And I'll be using 0 0.20, revision number 26554. So the first thing we need to do is install the macro. You can do that from the tools menu, add on manager. We'll select the macros tab and wait for that to populate. The add on manager has been given a facelift in some of the newest versions, newest builds. So it's going to look maybe a little bit different very soon but the functions are basically the same. So we select bevel, B-E-V-E-L, bevel, right there, and we'll click on install slash update selected. It will close. Now in macro macros you will find the new bevel macro if we execute it it's going to ask to create a file and the file that it wants to create is bevel.py let's see where it's at bevel.py So we want to say OK, yes, go ahead and create the file. The reason for this file is Bevel creates a feature Python object, a parametric object. And FreeCAD needs to be able to import a class definition file in order for that object to be parametric, in order for it to still work when you save your object to a file restart FreeCAD, load that file containing that object, FreeCAD needs that bevel.py file in this case to be able to import those class definitions and for that file, that object to work. So if you don't create the file then the object will be broken when you reload it in a new document. So we'll create the file, tells us it was created, and a little reminder here that when you uninstall Bevel Macro, should you decide to do so, you need to delete that file too. So let's look back at the Macros dialog again. And see now we've got Bevel FC Macro and Bevel Pi, all lowercase here bevel.py. These are some backups I made as I was writing this uh, macro. So bevel.macro, bevel.fc macro is the file to execute and this file just ignore it. Don't try to use it. Just delete it when you get ready to uninstall the macro. Delete both of these files and the macro will be uninstalled. So let's go into part workbench and I'm going to use part create primitives and let's make a prism six-sided prism uh, let's just say 25 millimeters long height, close that, so we'll make a pencil and we'll use the bevel macro to bevel these corners here. So we select the corners that we want to use, I'm holding down the control key selecting these six corners and then now that we've run the macro once, it'll be in the recent macros menu at the top. 
So we bevel those corners. And I want to make that a little bit longer. So I'm going to use the length property here. And let's set that to 2. three Let's see what four looks like so we got our pencil kind of sharp in there five or six so that's what it's going to give us if we want to bevel that corn that corner here we can run bevel again and bevel the bevel object macro reset macros bevel and we'll set this length maybe 0.25 now let's go I'm going to delete these Let's go to part design. This works in both part and part design quite well. Let's create a new body. Sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to use the multi-line create polyline tool. I'm not going to bother trying to constrain this. It's just an example. I want a few inside corners here. Alright. Not really making a model, just demonstrating this macro. Pad that out to 10. And now let's say we wanted to bevel only these corners sometimes when you have trouble selecting your corner let's see there's that one sometimes if you use this view fit all command here it makes them selectable when they weren't before. So I've got those six corners selected. I run the macro. I notice these inside corners are getting built up and the outside corners are getting chopped off. So that's the way that chamfer works, right? So let's do these this edge here just to show you. Let's do these two. Well, let's do you can see how well prepared I am. These two to show the difference and do a chamfer. You see I cut off that one and built up this one. And that's the same thing we're doing here. Building up the inside corners and chopping off the outside corners. I'm going to cancel that. And with the length property, we can adjust that. And with the refine property, we can clean up these extra edges that were there Just let me set that to false again see that so refine will clean that up now we have this edit vertices property Did we talk about claim children yet? OK, 
can't remember if we did or not. That's what claimed children look like. If it's true, it's the is false in part design and true in part workbench or other workbenches. It's false in part design because we want to preserve this linear tree view, start to finish the steps that were made. Edit vertices. If we set this to true, it acts like a trigger and sets itself back to false. So it's a command trigger. It's like clicking a button. When you click the button, it runs the command. When you set this to true, it runs the command and sets itself back to false, ready for the next time. And the command that it runs in this case is to run this vertex editor. You can see the edge, the, the uh, vertices that I had selected are selected in the edit vertex uh, dialog here. So we could deselect them by clicking anywhere and let's say selecting some new some new corners that we wanted to do. And we would do those instead. You can also get to that editor by double clicking the object in the tree. So two ways to get to it. Another way to edit these vertices is to edit this vertices property. So we can click on it here and then click this button that comes up and this is the property editor built into FreeCAD and here we could delete all these and that would deselect all of them so none of them are being beveled or we can set use all vertices to true and do all of them. So that would save you some time if you had an object that you wanted to bevel all the corners you can just set use all vertices to true and do them all. Now if this is true it overrides any that were selected. So if you bring up the editor again and click some of these, let's say we only want to do these two, well guess what? That over that, that other property has overridden that. So we need to set this to false to be able to control to have only these two done. And you get a little warning message here if you make that mistake just to remind you that you need to set this to false. So we have some other properties here. Three associated with filleting. Fillet all edges, fillet edges, and fillet radius. So fillet edges means fillet these newly created edges only. Let's set that to fillet edges to true. You can see a little tiny fillet is created and the fillet radius here we can set that to 0 0.3 a little bit bigger. This is going to fail at some point if you go too big fillets tend to be kind of finicky. So none of these edges are filleted, only the newly created edges. But if we tell it uh, fillet all edges true, then they all get filleted. So 
So we could set this to not do any vertex objects. And that way we could only fill it and we could fill it every edge of an object. So if you have an object that you want to fill it all the edges, you can use bevel to do that by uh, don't select any edge. Best easiest way, don't select any vertex. Let me delete it. Just select the pad, run the macro. It'll do them all. And then you tell it use all vertices false and fill it all edges true. And then you'll have all the edges filleted. So I think that covers what I wanted to cover about this macro. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.